Okay, here we are. You can see it's dark outside. We barricaded the porcupine's burrow with this, and then there's a second barricade up there. And basically, if we look up, this is where the plywood roof starts. I'm out of breath because I've been in there for a while digging. Um, we're gonna go down in the hole. We gotta go about 43 feet down in, and then there's a little hump, and that's where the baby porcupines are. I've seen two of them so far. So we're going down in the tunnel. Uh, we got the tape measure down here on the bottom. You can see it, we were measuring. I think I got about another 10 or 12 feet to get to the babies. But anyway, it goes down. I've got some buckets and flashlights um, right at that point, right down here past the um, these buckets, right about here. It's where I had to dig it out a little bit more because it was real narrow. And then you can see right here, we gotta go through another narrow part. But fortunately, it gets bigger once you get to that. And I could turn myself around. So, I don't really like this part right here because it's a little bit too narrow and claustrophobic. But we're crawling down in it anyway because they're babies. So, here we go. And as you can see, or hopefully you can see now, it's gotten wider in here. I'm trying to shine another flashlight. It's a little darker down in this part. And down there in the back, way back there, there's like a little hump of dirt. I don't believe we can see that. Let's clean off the lens there. There's like a little hump of dirt down there. Yeah, right there. And that's where the babies are. So I'm gonna try to scooch on down there. I'm gonna flip myself over. And then if we look way down. <coughs> Sorry about that. We just ate, face planted and ate them off the whole dirt. But down in there, way, way down behind that white bucket, there's the babies. Um, I can see two. I don't know if this zooms or not, but anyway, to about right here where we're at, it's 43 feet. So I'm not sure how much further I gotta dig. And there's really not too many crickets till I get way deep. I'm excavating my third, I don't know what feels like 50 pound bucket of dirt. Yeah. This is not an easy process. Because you can't stand up. It's hard to breathe down in here. And this is heavy. Don't bury your phone in dirt. What? Don't oh. bury your phone in dirt. I didn't even know my phone was there. Stop, stop. Okay. Okay. Where that other light is, is where the babies are. So, um, where the first flashlight is against the wall, that's 42 feet. And the second one's about at 50. And, oh, then there, um, move this bucket off to the side for a minute. It's not really enough room to move in here. But anyway, down in there, past that other light is the babies. And I'm gonna try to show that to you while I make all this noise and rattle around. I've got a hoe that I was digging wider. Um, can you get the light? Oh, I don't know if you can even see the babies. That's the light. There they are, way down in the hole. I don't know, can you see them? They're way, way down in there. So I've been trying everything I can do to get them out. So my next trick is going to be a bucket. Let's see if I can get the bucket down in behind them. So I can move that hole and the light. Anyway, that's the babies. I see a blue toy and then two baby por Okay. Okay, it's the next morning and we're going back in to see if we caught baby porcupines. And the uh, family almost broke through our barricade. We had to re-fortify, uh, I guess that's a good word. And they're very unhappy, but as you can see, it's morning time now and Lindley's coming in the cricket cave of doom. <laughs> The claustrophobic <laughs> cricket cave of doom with many flashlights. <laughs> you probably hear me um, having a panic attack as we go in. Okay, it's kind of fun. All right, we got flashlights. Okay, so this looks really, really narrow, and it's really not that bad. Well, yes, it is. <sighs> Don't want to hear. <laughs> and if you wanted to stay there. Oh. Yeah, I'm first. Oh, yeah, I'm fairly certain I can't do that. Uh, 
How about I pass you the camera? Okay, and I did not get the baby. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. No baby. No baby. So I'm going to need the bright light and the hose and the bucket, and we're going to have to dig more. So we might need to... Pause, pause in camera. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's about another 20 feet past me. But the babies are alive and well this morning. So okay. I just got to go dig them out. Do you want to take the camera with you? Um, well, I don't know that I can dig and record them, but there, oh, there is a ledge. So I can, uh... <laughs> so you have to stay there. Okay, th okay this okay. is my least favorite spot in the whole tunnel because I can't really get, like, your arms. Yeah. You just feel like you're trapped right here for a brief moment. Yeah. And it's not a good feeling. Okay. All right. All right, we're back in the hole. I just got one of the babies out. And the other one is still down in there. And what I did was, there's a bucket there. And it's got a string around it. You can hear the baby. And I pushed it down real far. And then I just um, made little scratching noises. And as the baby came up, I scooted the bucket behind it and laid real still. And it actually crawled onto my hand. And then I could grab it. So that's what I'm going to try to do again. Because the baby's about 10 feet past that bucket right there. That you can see. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to do this again. And then we'll get a shot at the baby. But you can hear the baby. He sounds like he's coming closer. Because he doesn't like being without the other one. So, anyway, here we go. I got it! Look, everybody! It's a baby porcupine. I can't see. We're going to crawl out of the hole together. I oh. can see nothing, so. After hours of digging in the dirt. I get dirt in people where in, in inhuman possible places to get dirt. We've got a baby. <laughs> and what a cute baby it is. That way school me. This is a tiny little one. Okay. Okay. Go on now.